Hi there, welcome to Tide TV. My name is Tide, and today we're going to be playing a spaceship simulator game called Elite Dangerous. Now, I kind of want to do a series on this one, but uh, I have barely played it. I've only done the training simulations, and this game is very hard. I have so many controls I need to worry about, and the combat is super intense. This is an MMO space-ish game. I got a new contact. Who, who wants to talk to me? Oh, somebody's ship came in. Cool. Um, so, essentially, this is an open world, I guess, open universe uh, space game. I'm still very bad at piloting this thing, so give me a chance. Um, I'm using a joystick that I got, a uh, Logitech 3D Pro. It's pretty good. Works with this game pretty well. Combat in general is very hectic, so if you get motion sickness real easily, do not continue watching this video. Because I don't even know if I'm going to get into combat in this video, and if I do, I don't want to make anybody throw up and that's not fun so first I'm gonna go ahead and look through the services and we're gonna find a mission so I need some money so I will take any easy mission that I can even if it's fucking doing nothing what's this mission it's three hours left on it start port okay system Okay, so it gives me 7,000 bucks. Let's, let's go ahead and try this out. See what happens. Alright. So, oh, whoop, my bad. I keep doing that. Alright, I'm still not used to all the controls here, so you gotta give me a chance. Let's go ahead and look at... We're ready to go again. Oh, okay, here's the system. Alright, so I need to go here. Alright, I guess I set that up. Alright, so I think I located the system that I need to go to. Now, we're going to go ahead and get there. See if we can do this safely without blowing myself up. I'm not really quite sure where we go to find said items, but I guess figure that out. Oh, I docked right in space? That's neat. Alright. Oh, let's go ahead and do an analysis. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Alright. Uh, figure out where the hell we're going. Spinny spin. Oh god. Oh, there it is. Alright, let me uh Star Fox my way through this shit. So this game is an awesome UI. I love the fact that I look like I'm inside a spaceship. This is super cool. The controls are really smooth, they just there's so many buttons in this game that it's almost hard to remember which one does what. I remember how to turn, how to shoot, how to like relocate energy to my different weapons and some of that. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick up our speed and let's warp. Comply. Oh, we're still mass locked. That means that we're still too close to the main base. And I should also put up my landing gear. So I need to get right out of Mass lock range. Bam. Okay. So now we're gonna frame shift, which is essentially a warp drive. Here we go, guys. Oh, God. Oh, God. Not so bad. Okay. Alright, so now we're in, I think, Super Cruise, which is essentially. Flying really, 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 really fast. But I actually have control of my ship now. Opposed to when we were warping, I don't have control. Can I look through that stuff while I'm here? Oh, I guess I can. Oh, God, there's a lot of ships here. Oh, that's not good. 
Well, I'm kind of worried. Um. All right. All right, we're still kind of far from this place. All right, we just left the range of those other ten ships that I was freaking out about. Um, so I guess a fuel gauge that'd be important to look at. Uh, we're still kind of far. I have weapons, but they're like little lasers. The ones that you get to use in the tutorial are really cool. You get like missile racks and like Gatling guns and stuff. It's, it's cool. Definitely worth playing around. Now I got this game for 45 bucks and I got my uh, joystick for 20 bucks on sale. So this was a pretty good turnout altogether considering that I've always wanted to fly my own spaceship. Um, Star Fox was like my favorite franchise when I was little next to Zelda. Oh, I just went through my cargo system and it looks like... Whoops, sorry. Looks like we already have the cargo. We didn't have to actually go find it. They gave it to me at the mission table so all we gotta do is deliver it I mean that might be more complex than it is but let's just hope it's not too bad I keep going a little off track here let's see if I can get right back on track with this so there's approximately 6.8 days until I get there all right something I should clearly mention about this game it takes real time to move between different spaces I'm still on my way to forgot forgot for whatever and I've been off the camera for a good 10 minutes, so I will obviously let you guys know when I get there. Just remember that if you're going to buy this game, it does take real time to move back and forth, so make sure you have something to do in the meantime. So I accidentally clicked the button, I think I can warp more than once, which would be freaking great. Oh, look at that! Uh, that is how it works. Alright guys, my bad. Look how fast I'm going! I'm going like super speed! Oh shit! Oh wait, wait, I have to keep the planet in the, the crosshair, fuck. You see it? Right there. Oh god! Whoa. Okay, oh, that's another ship. Alright. Alright. Yes, slow down. Dear god, slow down. Wait, am I... Warning. Take yeah, fuck. Damage. The stun was pulling me in. Let me get the hell out of here. Come on! Warning. Taking heat God damn it! Come on! I'll power the engines. Okay. All right. I think I'm okay now. All right. So, good thing to know, guys. I was in super cruise the whole time, uh, and I didn't warp. So now that I warped, I am here in an instant. It it didn't take any time. My bad for keeping you guys waiting. I'm, I'm learning as fast as you are, unless you've played this game before, then don't laugh at me. Alright, so this is where we need to go. So I'm going to lock this destination. Alright, so now we need to figure out... Oh, there it is. Um, Alright, right now we're still in super cruising, so I'm still moving at an extremely fast rate. This is not the rate that you combat other pilots. Um, you combat pilots in your regular speed, unless you, I mean, maybe you can come back. Can I even draw my weapons? No, it doesn't look like my hard points play. So yes, please, when you play this game, learn how to differentiate your warp drive from your hyperdrive. Oh god, I need to slow down. Oh, I'm gonna pass it. I'm gonna pass it. Whoa, God! Okay. Alright. So it looks like I have to enter the actual orbit of the planet, of that planet first, before I can actually get to the base. So let me increase my speed just a tad. Looks like we're coming in pretty quick. I'm gonna wait for it to give me the slowdown signal. Safe disengage ready. Does that mean I pop this now? Yes! All right, looks like we did it. We have to wait for the sign to pop up before I can do this. Oh shit! Okay. All right, I, I could have swore that was gonna come at me faster. All right, so before we get close, the tutorial told me that we need to ask permission before we can actually land in these. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull in a little closer. Let's see, 
this one yet. So yeah, I couldn't even draw my weapons when we were in Super Cruise, so there's no way we can com combat any ships in Super Cruise. I think we can probably follow a ship until they they end. All right, all right, we're really close. Let's go ahead and slow down. So we're gonna go ahead and ask permission real quick. So we have to go here. I wanna say it was contacts. There we go. Request docking. Docking request granted. All right, so they granted us permission. So now we can pull in and deliver these these goods. However, I need to find out how the hell we get inside because a lot of these look different and I'm not quite sure how we dock. We might actually dock in space. Oh, it looks like it's pointing me this way. Does it matter? Whoa, 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 did not mean to take out my weapons. My bad. Nope. I'm not I'm not doing anything. I didn't I didn't mean to shoot no one. Alright. So now we're gonna get in range of this. Alright, we're gonna stop. I'm gonna drop my landing gear. Now we're gonna just try to lower ourselves. Landing gear deployed. Alright, so I'm already facing the right way. As you can see I have a landing landing assist there. So now the rest of this is just us not being retarded. There. There. Fuck. Just a little bit. There. Eh. Okay. So now we gotta bring her down. Uh oh. Are you facing the right way? Sweet, we got it. Engines disengaged. All right. So let's enter the hangar. <laughs> so cool. This is really cool. All right. So now we need to deliver. How do I deliver these? Transactions. Give cargo. Hey, look at that. We got influence. Uh, looks like we got some reputation. That's awesome. Sweet. We got some money, guys. Looks like I have 8,447 credits. Alright. But let's be honest. What's really important here is I fucking fix my ship. Looks like I need to refuel. Oh, I have different feeling. Okay. All right, and I mean our hull looks okay. I'm not really quite sure what we need to repair. I think we're okay. We don't have to waste any more money. Let's go look at what we can buy. Work with what we got. There we go. All right, so it looks like we can go ahead and outfit the ship with some new things. Let's see what kind of guns we can get. A burst laser, a pulse laser. I think I already have a pulse laser on there. Is that what it was? Let me let me just double check so I know what we have. Yeah, we have pulse lasers. So let's see. We can get a multi cannon. Uh, it's about the same weight. We can get a torpedo pylon. Another cannon. Rapid fire, small caliber, project weapon on fixed mount. Large caliber on a fixed mount. Does fixed mount mean that it doesn't lock? Yeah, this one has signature signature tracking assist. So essentially for this weapon, I'd have to put them into my line of sight and then start firing. Rather than my laser, which kind of chases them a little bit. And then begins to open fire. However, the rate of fire is higher and the armor penetration is higher. Damage per second is also significantly better. And it uses a lot less power than my burst lasers, which would make sense. 
Let's see what kind of other things we can get. Purges shifts heat into a dispensable sink block, which is when ejected requires. Oh, this is a heat sink, so we can put all of the heat into a little box, send it out, and then the missiles will hit that instead of us. Okay, chaff launcher, signature tracking defense. When deployed, causes gimbal and turret mounted devices to lose lock. Electronic countermeasure, missile and torpedo defense. When deployed, causes effect ordinance to lose lock. Okay, so this is just like an EMP. Oh, this is a signature tracking defense. When deployed, causes a gimbal and the turret mount devices to lose lock. Okay, so if I'm being locked on by somebody, I can quickly disengage that. These one of the, one of these defenses might you be might come in very handy. But again, we haven't even seen combat until I have a reason to buy these. Um. Oh, we don't have any decals. Alright. Internal. Looks like all of our stuff is loaned. Oh, we can change our alloy. Alright, well I guess I'll take a look at it and play a little bit um, on my own. To see if I can buy some new things. So, thank you for watching guys. I hope you guys like this video. I will do more of these if you guys want me to. But I really like this game so far and I really want to see what else it has to offer. So, go ahead and like, subscribe. Um, leave a comment down below about this game if you guys think it's cool, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take it easy, and have a good day.